and you win and shit is awesome Never felt real pain till a nigga lost one If somebody take from you, what it's gon' cost them Tired of niggas acting like they really put in work Hit the boss, come be yourself It'll do you better in the long run As see yourself staring down a barrel of a long gun Some rappers never had no street cred So they bought some Try to cut the streets off and turn it to extortion Everybody snitching, niggas bidding like an auction Life is short till you hear it sentence when the court done He was moving faster than a bullet Then he caught one New sounds and shit. Shit is crazy. You keep going. I think I shot the video for Blizzle like the month you shot or something. You, you recorded oh, that song. Hell yeah, son. I, I, I think I shot a video for Blizzle the month you did that song, son. It was the month. Same yo, month. Blizzle, yo, Blizzle quit and it was an argument. You wasn't even there. You don't even know about the argument in the studio over your song. Nigga, there was about almost be a fight in the studio over this. I ain't even tell you that. <laughs> I got. I think I got the footage. Well, 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 tell us now. <laughs> <laughs> we hit. Let's hear the story, nigga. Because dudes came in trying to get his files. Oh, shit. Yeah, there was Fight dudes, like I was, that. Remember, there was dudes talking about they was his management. I had to call you like, dudes was like, nah, son, that the song was going. I'm like, dudes popping up like, yo, son, I need the files for the song. We don't, we don't get files out for the song. What you talking about? What? Mm. Niggas started asking for files? Bro, you, there was, I don't want to put too many names. It was a couple names that was, you remember, there was a couple people around. There was that, a couple people yeah, around. Yeah, a couple of people around that was Niggas like was trying probably to, driving me around. Yeah, there was people that was, you know what I'm saying? And that you, was in the mix. And you in Brownsville. Yeah. That is crazy. Too rusty. And these are the kind yeah. of adjustments you have to make from them. Right. Yeah, now, people had faith in I ain't gonna people have faith in son. Like there was different people that was like yeah. in the picture that was like, I wanna see him win. But sometimes that's corny though, because I had like I didn't like the situation. I ain't gonna put with, with, with son. Cause I'm like, yo, if you see the young brother trying to get up and you put up a little five thousand, you put up a thousand dollars, you give him some studio time, he don't owe you nothing for that. Right, because you already was going doing you know I mean? it. Like you were old head. You're trying to get something out of it. Yeah, there's people that do that and I, don't, I don't, like I see that. So what happened a lot. is like what happened saying, when before the big drip came out. Mm -hmm. I was kind of like like lit already, mm -hmm. like I was like hood famous like in Brooklyn, like you feel me, like already, like right. so like niggas was already like gravitating, like mm -hmm. yo, I'm gonna, I got, I'm gonna make niggas get you beats, like you feel me, like you feel me, I was just chilling, like I was just doing my rounds, like all right, come on, like let me drive to the studio, I need studio time, but at the same time, niggas was there when they wanted to be there, niggas was saying they gonna drive, they won't do this, and niggas wasn't coming through. You know what I'm saying? So I just leaned towards the people that was more consistent or keeping their word when they were saying shit like, right. you feel me? Like a nigga named Bless, you feel me? Like, like you feel me? Like Bless, mm -hmm. like Jerry, like Slow, like, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Niggas that keep their word when they say they gonna do shit, like that shit matter to me, like, right. you feel me? Right. All the other shit be like. That'd that's be the most important thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that's, who I, that's how I judge who I fuck with more, like. Mm -hmm. It wasn't even like, I wasn't even like thinking smart enough to like even think about building a team. I just was gravitating towards niggas that was like <coughs> keeping their word. Like, right. you know I mean? it's, it's not that you weren't smart enough, you're inexperienced. You, inexperienced, it, it just yeah. Happens. I just like, wasn't, yeah. like, I wasn't thinking about that. Like, Well, how did the whole May shit happen? Oh, the May shit, the May shit was even before I did the Big Drip shit. That's what I'm saying. Like, I was already on my way to the movie thing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, before I even had a million views, like, Mace came and pulled up. And I ain't, I told you, I, I ain't even look at nothing. I yeah, just right. said, all right, whatever. He sat down with me in some hotel, and I'm saying he he, I, he went over it with me a couple times and say, "Yo, will I take his thirty percent of this? Thirty percent of this?" I said, "I right, bet." What did that thirty percent end up becoming? Um, it, it way more, but 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 the way I did the deal was it about seven hundred and fifty thousand? Yeah. So when when I did the deal, when I signed the, when I signed my deal, right? When I signed my deal, I got this. I'm gonna do the math. Like I got, I had the biggest deal in 2018. I signed at the end of the year, right? I had got signed for 1.7 million, right? So being that Mace was in the position in, in the picture, I didn't want to be in a deal where, yeah, mm -hmm. like Drew, I didn't want to be in a deal where somebody else get my money and control my money and just give me like bread, right? I knew that I didn't want it that much. Right, because Mace had nothing to do with Big Trip here. Yeah, nothing to do with it, you feel no. me? At all? At all. Like not even a little no, bit. He don't know nothing he didn't, about He didn't, he didn't make a he phone call, there. yo, play this record. I don't, he know. Didn't, I don't know, that shit nothing. was going viral already. It was going viral already. Like Drewski already was hitting me up playing, you know, Drewski doing new at two, like, you feel me? I just spoke to DJ enough 
through um, Al Vaughn, like that's a whole nother person. Mm -hmm. You feel me, Mace then, like anybody that Mace met, I kind of like introduce him to like as far as like, like the label people, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I got the 1.7. I didn't want him, so what I did was, he got half of that deal. So yeah, he got like 700 and then 750, then I got the rest. Right. So that's how that went. And then when I got the rest, they gave me a advance out of that. Mm. My advance was like 300,000. With that 300,000, that's when I went, that's what I, I did, I did the, well, the smartest thing I did was I bought a truck bulletproof. You know what I'm saying? I was 100,000, right? Mm. 90 something thousand. Like then I bought what kind of truck? chains, bulletproof Escalade. Bulletproof me? Escalade. Then I bought chains for everybody, right? Seventy five thousand. But I had got set, so I think I got five at first, so it was probably like fifty thousand. I'm just right. doing a match so you can understand where my money was going. Right. You feel me? When niggas was thinking, acting like they wanted more money from me, and I was over for. I my my cousin right then. I didn't even give my cousins no jewelry, no nothing, no cars, no cribs. My, you understand? Right. I got a crib. In Tenafly, New Jersey, for niggas, right? It's going. It's not there no more, so I could just say where it was at. I paid it off. I didn't even know about putting money down for a mortgage or nothing. Hmm. I'm just trying you to just hurry up and get shit. niggas out the crib. Right. So I just, I, it was, it was the rent. It was a rental house. I did like ninety thousand on a rental hmm. house when I could have put money down for a, a oh, property. property. Yeah. I, now I know. Land. I would never do that again. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's like 250 gone already. And I just knew I was going to make money how I was doing from shows and shit. So I got my crib um, rental, you know what I'm saying, with my kids and my family. You know what I'm saying? And I just kept it like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when niggas be like, uh, this would make the shit that made me regret it is like the ungratefulness. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's like, damn, you don't appreciate the shit I did. Right. You know what I'm you saying? Niggas, a, niggas, a, niggas, a, niggas a say, yo, King Vaughn did good for one niggas. Mm. I was a niggas that tell me, yo, I fuck with King Vaughn. Look what he did. He split 100,000 in the hood. I'm like, damn, niggas, look what I did. You feel me? Say what I did. Now, it's King Vaughn, my man's, but I'm like, damn, like, niggas are tight yeah. that. Like, should be weird. 250. Gone. Already. Mm. And that's no, half you of the really money. Yeah, the really, bulletproof I, I, shit, I, though. I nigga, that. if I'd have got the bulletproof joint, nigga, I would have been dissing everybody. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's for, nigga. I said bulletproof. <laughs> nigga, who want it? Nigga, I'm, I'm with all the smoke. It's all around. Look around you, man. You can find inspiration. You can find discouragement. It all depends on you. Perception is everything. Some people just hear another song. Some people hear the greatest. A nigga used to have no chill. Nowadays I bump side A. Traffic on bumper to bumper, stuck on the highway.